the Active Sensor in Rackbox Performance Mode. Abbreviated as ACT Sensor. What is it? What can you do with it? In this video, I will go over all the features. But before I dive into the subject of the video, my Rackbox course explains every free feature in Rackbox of the performance and the export mode. You can find the link to the course in the description below. The course you can download to your computer and is completely ad free. Let's go from sequencer call to active sensor. With active sensor you can apply effects to certain sections of your track. Those effects are automatically triggered. You only have to say um, this is the out point, this is the in point. Uh, from there to there you have to apply that effect. It's a non-destructive edit so it is applied on the fly by Rekordbox itself and it isn't applied by uh, by writing it down in the file of the track. Uh, I have a couple of facts to, uh, to choose from, reverse roll, trance, echo and uh, break. Um, let's uh, take uh, this track over here, let's play it. I'm over here, I cue it. I say reverse roll, I want to apply this is the in point. Now a mark will appear over here and I'm going to play it and here I want to have the out point so I cue it. So it goes to this point and I say out. Now this is reversed rolled. Uh, it isn't activated yet, I have to press on for that. Now it is activated, it's yellow. And when we reverse the track, I hope that it will work. Sometimes it doesn't work, I noticed. When I play the song, yes, it works. So you see, when you hit that point in a track, then the effect is automatically applied. I can also switch that to trance, for example. So when I reverse, We can uh, assign multiple sections of the song, so cue it again, and I say here, in, and here the out, cue it, and here the out, and now I can rewind, and you'll see that there are two sections in the track that trans is applied. I can also switch that to echo if I want. Sometimes it doesn't work properly. I don't know what that is. Um, let's switch it to a break. It worked, but it was a little bit short. Ooh. You can jump to the in point and the uh, out point uh, by these uh, arrows. Um, go. You can select the parameter, for example here V break, I can uh, switch that to a half or a one fourth, so, and that's again also the same with trans, I can switch the parameter over here. When I want to get rid of this, I have to uh, go to a uh, section, an active section. It doesn't uh, need to be uh, on or, or off, that doesn't matter. But now I can select clear if I want to. But when I'm here, I can't select clear because it doesn't know which section it has to delete. So when I click here, I can click clear. Now this section is deleted but this section still exists. I can also say, hey, I'm in this section, um, I want to adjust the out point. Then I click here, then I can go to a new point over here, for example, uh, click Q so we know it's exactly 
on the beat and click out again and now <laughs> ah yeah it worked but um there are some kings to iron out for <laughs> For Pioneer. My record box playlist right here has more record box tutorials. I also recommend you take a look at this video right here. Subscribe and hit the bell for more awesome DJ videos.